Hi everyone, this is Brian Shearer back with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial. Today we're going to talk about using the Quick Mask to make selections in your artwork that's a little bit different, in some ways easier than using the lasso tool for effects and things. It's uh, uh, really simple, but some people kind of get um, their eyes glaze over when you talk about using masks and, and stuff. So uh, what we're going to do here is, let me take this one away so I can start. All right, so what this is going to do, when I go up here to select and scroll down to Quick Mask, it's going to make a layer over there labeled Quick Mask. What that lets me do is go and select my drawing tool. It can be any drawing tool you want. And when I draw on that layer, everything I draw is going to eventually become a selection. So it's going to show up in red. Okay, let's say I want to give this guy a tattoo. I'm going to make him a little more interesting. So I can go in and make designs and I'm actually drawing. And this is a little easier, well, a lot easier than using like the, the lasso tool or, or whatever. Now, you might ask, why don't you just draw in the tattoo on a regular layer? Well, if I want to do any effects, if I want to fade it, which I'll show you in just a second, this gives me a lot more options. Um, so let's just say he's got his little tattoo right there. Okay. So now what happens when I go back up to select and I switch off the quick mask, that layer disappears, but everything I just drew is its own selected area. So let's say I want to make this kind of weird symbol or tattoo on his face, but I want it to fade, right? So I, I can go, for example, grab a green, get my um, gradient fill tool and just pull it down a couple of times to make it a little darker. When I deselect it, control D, it's got this faded kind of look, all right? So let's undo all that, but leave the selection. Maybe I want to go in and just kind of make it you know, make stripes, right? Green. And we're just going around, okay? And then something really quick, deselect it. Now it's the same thing, but it's kind of broken up. So you could do, um, it, it gives you a little more flexibility when you, uh, especially when we're used to draw selecting areas with the drawing tool. So again, select, quick mask. There's your mask layer over here. It pops up temporarily. So now anything that I draw is gonna be in red. Okay, so maybe I sign my name and I wanna do an effect with my name, um, that will be selected afterwards. I can do the you know, that gradient there. Um, I could, I don't know why you would do this, but if I just want to put glasses on them, but make those glasses, um, um, you know, a, a specific color, like gold rimmed or something. I, I probably wouldn't use it for this particular thing. I would draw it in in color, but you know, it's that it lets you have options. There it is. Okay. So again, it's a, a different way of selecting things that gives you a little more um, flexibility in the long run with your layers and effects. So select quick mask, draw your selection, select, deselect quick mask, and you're ready to go. Uh, hope this helps. Uh, play with it. Let me know in the comments if you have any success with it or questions or any other uh, tutorials you'd like to see. And until next time, please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Go watch one of my other tutorials and see you next time.